Hi everyone, it's Chris Hansen here, Adobe Solutions Consultant, and I'm here to talk to you about the latest update in stock, namely in Premiere Pro, and that is the addition of audio. Audio is now in Adobe Stock, which gives you the ability to access audio right within Premiere Pro, right within the application itself. So that means you don't even have to leave the application. So let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro, and what you'll see here is I've got a timeline of uh, some footage that I've put together, and what I now need to do is add some audio to it. What I can now do is go up to audio, the audio workspace just up here. And what's gonna happen is, it's going to bring up the essential sound panel. Now, previously, it would just have this edit functionality here. But now, as you can see in the essential sound panel, you now have browse through Adobe Stock. Now, if I want to start searching for a particular piece of audio, it's just as simple as coming down to figure out what type of mood that I want it to be. So let's have a look at the drop downs here. So I click on the mood. So we have various amounts of moods here, angry, dynamic, emotional, exotic. Let's just choose one for this example. So let's go with uh, inspiring. As we do that, notice the search parameters start to change. Now I'm gonna click on genres. So let's have a look, I might go, let's go hip hop. One thing also to take note is you can actually uh, filter by tempo, so beats per minute. You can actually come in here and just drag the slider to where you want it. Notice the search parameters automatically change as you go. You can even search via duration. So I can bring that down to, let's say three minutes and get an even more refined result, which is fantastic. Keep in mind, one of the most important things in this scenario is timeline sync. When timeline sync is enabled, as soon as you start playing the audio, it will actually play against your own footage. So let's have a look at how that works. See, that's not bad, I actually don't mind that, but let's just give you another example. Notice how as soon as I hit play, it starts playing at the same time as my footage, which is fantastic. If I didn't have this checked, and I just click this, it plays it not against my footage. So you wanna have that checked in order to get that. So let's say I choose dinner plans, for example. If I just click the three ellipses over here, it's gonna ask you now to add to your project, depending on which ones you have open. So now all I have to do is come over here and you'll notice here stock audio media. So if I click on that, I've got two in here, one that I was looking at earlier. All I have to do now is just drag and drop it into my timeline, hit play, and there you go, I've got the piece of audio. Now, if I wanted to license that, I just come over and double click, and Adobe Stock will come up and ask me how many credits that I have and then I can license it directly from here. And that's it. Getting access to music for your videos in Adobe Stock has never been easier by using Premiere Pro. As mentioned earlier, you can do that without even leaving the application. And this allows you to work faster and more efficiently. So if you'd like to see more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos, just subscribe. And remember, never stop creating.